Hello everyone, this is Nate coming to you from the beautiful mountains and I'm here today to talk about my Montbell Ultralight layering system. So this is my backpacking, ski touring, adventure, just day hikes, whatever, in colder weather, warmer weather. This is kind of uh, how I, I figured out the layering system. I'm going to share this with you all so that you don't have to go through the struggles that I went through to figure out what sizes you really need. Montbell is a company, they only have two stores in the whole United States, so you pretty much have to order it online. And it's a little, you know, anything you buy online, you're not exactly sure what the sizing is, and these are things that you want to have the right size. So I'll go from the bottom out. I've got them all on right now. So I have on this, this down vest right here, I'll show you the shoulders so you can see it's a, a vest. This is the Mont Bell uh, Plasma 1000 down vest and it weighs in at about 3.1 ounces. Awesome layer. Uh, it's a thousand fill down and it's a really nice layer. I have the medium and that fits me. I'm a, I'm a slimmer guy but I'm 6'2 and I weigh about 160. So this is what I got. I wanted it snugger fitting so that I could layer above it and for me the medium was just the perfect fit. I did try, you know, I had I, I had a large, I ended up giving it away for gifts and anyway I, I figured out that Mont Bell actually runs pretty true to fit, maybe even a little big compared to certain other companies. It's not, considering it's a Japanese brand, don't think that it's Japanese sizes. No, if it says medium and you usually wear a medium, that should be fine. So that's just something to be aware of. So this is what I like to wear is my under layer, super basic, no pockets, just a zipper and a vest. Ultra light, it's 229 bucks, 3.1 ounces, awesome layer. Okay, now on top of that, what I like to wear, I have a Montbell Plasma 1000 down parka, the Alpine down parka. Again, it is a thousand fill, uh, really high end. As, as far as the ultralight goes, this is about as good a kind of garment as you can find on the market. It's got nice pockets, it's got a drawstring around the waist, it's got this awesome baffling that really helps keep the, the down in, in the right position, and the hood is excellent. It's got full-on hood, you can fit it with a, with a helmet underneath, it's helmet compatible, it's got drawstrings to cinch it around your face. Excellent layer. And this guy I do have in large, in the large size, I believe it is 9.4 ounces and that's with the stuff sack included. The medium is 8.4 ounces. So again, medium vest, large jacket, super awesome setup right there. And this jacket it retails at 439 US dollars on the more expensive side, but again, the features really make it worthwhile. If you're looking for that ultralight down garment and you don't want to custom order it, this thing is excellent, super warm. Uh, it's, it's definitely a four season type layer. However, you don't really, uh, you, you wouldn't want to be sitting around at night in this as your, as your full on parka, let's say if you're winter camping or something like that. It's not quite that warm, but if you're being active, this thing is excellent. It'll keep you plenty warm. So there you have it. That's my mid layer, let's say. And then to throw it on the outside, I like to wear the uh, Techion Parka. And this is also Montbell. This is basically just a wind layer. It's a, a treated, I think it's a, a, yeah, a treated thin nylon. All of these are D7 nylons, super thin. That's about as thin as they're going on the market. I haven't heard of anyone using anything s smaller than that. And I just like to throw this guy on top. One, it gives you a little more wind protection and everything else like that. However, it also protects your gear a little bit. So honestly, just having a wind layer on top of your shells, it allows, let's say you caught a stick, it allows the stick to catch this and, and move it as opposed to digging in and getting your jacket, you're down. That's what you really don't want. I mean, yeah, it would suck to get a hole in your in your wind layer, but you can, you can throw a little piece of tape over it. It's not gonna be horrible in a backcountry setting if that tears versus you're down and you're losing feathers that's what you don't want so i almost always wear this shell on top of the the down layers underneath because it's just a protective layer and i have this uh this shell the uh, techion i have in an extra large and it fits perfectly over the large uh plasma uh alpine down parka so 
there you have it. It's a great layering system. Oh, oh, and uh, just the a cost of the the rain, wind layer, the the Techion, it is a hundred or ninety nine dollars US. So anyway, the whole system, it is on the more expensive side. It's something if if you're looking specifically for ultralight or you're trying to, you know, climb climb the biggest peaks or whatever, and you need that extra little boost of weight, or honestly, even if you're just trying to increase your longevity or your distance or however it is, this is a really great system. It's it is uh, expensive, but it's it's you're getting value out of that. It's it's totally worth the value of what you're getting compared to other things that are on the market. That honestly, all of it's expensive, so it's it's just kind of the name of the game. And if you're willing to throw in that little bit of extra, it really pays off, in my opinion. So I'll just throw on here's the down hood, and I'm gonna throw on the uh, wind hood just to show you what that looks like. So let me zip up the down hood, there you have it, and there's the wind hood. So really, I mean, it's almost tailored like they were meant for each other. I don't know how many people really use this configuration that I have going on. Uh, I, I kind of just stumbled upon it and got the parka first and the vest and then the wind layer I got with the parka because I knew I would need it to keep it protected. And all three of them together are just a super great combination and it'll it'll keep you warm in all kinds of different conditions and if you're on the move it's a really easy way to work with that layering system for instance i use like if i'm ski touring i'll just wear a a, a wool like a merino wool long sleeve and then i'll just throw this uh, nylon shell right over it and that's what i use to go up the hit up the mountain and it's perfect because you're sweating so much climbing up these mountains and uh all you really need is something to block the wind and this wind layer is perfect for that and you can just sweat into it and no big deal it weighs 2.5 ounces you just throw it in your backpack after you're done and put on a shell or something and there you have it it's it's just an easy awesome layer to to use and then again you just work with how you need with these three different layers it really just comes in in handy to to have that system so that's my take on the mont bell on my mont bell uh style layering system for ultra light or adventure whatever kind of activity you want to do these are definitely ultra light treat them as such but if you treat them well they'll treat you well too they're great layers all right thank you